In today's To Your Wellbeing segment, we're talking about summer heat. If you spend any time outdoors in the last week, you know you have felt those temperatures because it's basically impossible to ignore. At times it felt even hotter than 100 degrees, and you need to keep yourself and your family safe. Yeah, so right now we're joined by sports medicine doctor Shane Hudnell from the Cone Health Med Center in High Point. Thank you so much for joining us here, doctor. Now, you know, whether or not you're an athlete, I mean, everyone is at risk about uh, the dangers, really, when it comes to the heat, you know. So talk to us a little bit about heat stroke and what happens to our bodies. So basically heat stroke is when your body's internal mechanism for regulating the temperature basically gets overwhelmed. So it's kind of like if the thermostat and the AC goes off in your house, your body's temperature is just going to keep going up. And eventually if it goes up over about 104, you start to get problems with your nervous system and your brain can't, can't function properly. Okay, before we get into some more details about heat stroke, we want the viewer, we want you to join the conversation. So head over to WFMY.com slash vote now and tell us if you've ever experienced heat illness. Yeah, so how would we know, you know, we have those options there, yes or no. Doctor, how would we know if someone is experiencing a, a heat illness? Maybe, you know, kids coming in from outside, things like that. So I think all of us have experienced a little bit of heat illness, just the minor, you know, mild headache, a little bit of dizziness, maybe some muscle cramping and come inside. But as that progresses, your headache can become more severe. You get the nausea and vomiting, and that's when the heat stroke stuff starts to, you start to worry about that. So someone gets confused, they look like their balance is a little off, they're saying things that sound inappropriate, maybe hallucinating, and then you can eventually lose consciousness. You're talking about the symptoms, what someone's feeling, getting a little bit dizzy, feeling nauseous, getting the headache. What if a parent or a friend notices you're acting a little strangely, what should that person do? Yeah, so we think about two different situations. So first, if you're at a soccer practice or any event, sporting event practice, and there's an athletic trainer there, sometimes we'll have a cooling tub there. Uh, with just basically ice water in it. Now for most people, you know, if you're at home and you just recognize, hey, my kid just seems a little bit off or whatever, um, what you want to do is take them obviously out of that heat, um, get them inside, try to cool them down as fast as possible. If it seems severe and they have those neurologic symptoms, call 911, but we try to get people into a tub, you know, ice cold water, try to circulate it, keep stirring it and everything until the paramedics can get there. So this is a very uh, reactive approach once we see that someone is feeling hot and we know that staying inside may not be possible. Right. So, so how can we prevent a stroke or heat illness from happening? So I think the first thing is that this is very good, just telling people about what the symptoms are, what to identify so you can come in. Um, getting out of the heat, drinking plenty of fluids. A few other points I'd like to make, you know, if you've been sick, especially vomiting, diarrhea, have a fever, you know, that increases your risk of heat illness. So you maybe not want to be out in the sun as much. Uh, if you're taking certain medications like decongestants, uh, Sudafed, things like that. If you're taking antihistamines like Benadryl, and if you're taking some blood pressure medicines, diuretics, they increase your risk, risk of heat illness. And then the last point I'd, I'd probably make is that if you're going to exercise out in the heat or be out in the heat, try to work into it over a course of about one to two weeks. Don't just decide, I'm gonna do my 30 minute run, I'm going out, I don't yeah. care if Tim said it's 94 <laughs> degrees, I'm doing it, you yeah. know, try to work into that over two weeks. So, so. ease into it. Dr. Exactly. Hendel, thank you so much for your time. Thanks we for having me. It.